What up, Salty Crew? Welcome back to another video. I did something I have never done before. I drank celery juice first thing in the morning every day for seven days, and I had to document and tell you what happened. Now, I'm sure you guys are fully aware of how insane this celery juice craze is. It is popping up over everywhere. People are trying it. They're like, oh my God, my life has completely changed. So your girl had to test out the celery juice and see what all the hype is about. I also did this without a juicer. So if you're like me and you don't have a juicer, you don't want to buy one, you haven't bought one yet, keep watching because I will show you step by step how to do it. It's very, very easy. So here's what you need to know. Ideally, you want to drink fresh celery juice, two cups or 16 ounces on an empty stomach every morning. That is kind of the protocol of the celery juice craze. So every morning after I got up, I cut up my organic celery stock, put it in a colander, and then I rinsed it under the sink so I could get all the grit and dirt off of it. And I put it in my Vitamix with a little bit of water. And then I just blended it up. To extract the juice, I just uh, strained it through a nut milk bag, like you would for like almond milk or cashew milk or whatever plant milk you're making. And I just strained it through the bag. So that is how you make juice without a juicer. Use a blender and strain it. Now, I was expecting to be more annoyed at this process, but honestly, I just kind of got used to it after doing it every day. I don't really know how much longer it would take if you used a juicer, because you do have to like clean the juicer and take it apart, and they're kind of big and bulky. Some aren't, but some are. So at the end of the day, I don't know like how much time you save. It is a little bit more effort because you literally have to like squeeze the juice out, but I honestly wasn't that bothered by doing it this way. And I'm not gonna lie, the first day that I drank this stuff, woo, honey, it was... <laughs> not good. It's really salty, you don't expect it to be that salty, and I've had celery juice before so I know what it tastes like, but I just haven't had it in a while and it was just like a shock to the taste buds. And pro tip, drink it through a straw because it'll be a lot easier to drink and you can drink it faster and just get it over with. So I managed to make it through the first day and oh man, this is a TMI alert. So if you're, you know, sensitive to like poop stuff, fast forward a little bit. About 10 or 15 minutes after I finished my juice, it was like a bomb went off in my toilet. It just <laughs> was not not cute. And it was that type of poop that was like a 911 situation, emergency, you gotta get there right now, like you run to the toilet. That's really the only thing that I noticed about the first day. I mean, it's the first day, so you're not gonna notice that much of a difference, at least not for me. Second day was good. It was easier to drink the celery juice. I didn't taste it as much, which was interesting. Like it wasn't as potent. Also side note, you wanna make sure that you get to the grocery store at a good time because everyone is doing the celery stuff. I'm telling you, like celery is sold out everywhere. Every time I went to Sprouts, I had to like go to the produce guy and be like, hey man, you got more organic celery in the back? So you would go to the back and bring me out like a fresh big box of celery, which was amazing. So shout out to you, Sprouts produce guy, you are the real MVP of this celery juice challenge. The third day rolls around and I notice that I have pimples popping up everywhere. Like, what the heck? I normally don't really break out unless I eat something that I'm sensitive to, so that was weird for me. Okay, so we're on the third day and I've noticed a few things. Number one, TMI alert, uh, my poops are weird. They're like mushy and also explosive. <laughs> A couple times a week, I'll usually get like a really intense craving for something sweet, like a donut or chocolate or something like that. And with the celery juice, I don't have those. Like, it seems like my blood sugar stays pretty steady throughout the day. I also started freezing the leftover celery pulp because I felt bad just throwing it out. So if you wanna do this, I just freeze it in an ice cube tray and pop them out when they're frozen, store them in a plastic bag, and you can throw them in smoothies or soups. Day four. I actually don't mind the taste. 
I mean, I don't love it, but I tolerate it. On the first day, it was horrendous, but now that I've gotten used to it, it's actually not bad. But I'm feeling good, feeling energized. I have a new pimple. My digestion is doing really well. Day four, cheers. Day five, feeling good, feeling fresh. Got three more pimples, so that's fun. I'm looking at these new pimples that are coming on my face as a positive thing. They're obviously toxins that need to get out that have just been in my body, so that's a good thing. And I know that because I haven't really changed anything about my diet other than the celery juice. So, I will see you again on day six. <laughs> I just filled it. Day six. Overall, I really enjoyed my experience doing it and it's day like 12 or 14. I've been doing this for almost two weeks now and I still love it. So I would say try it out if you're curious to see if it will cure your disease miraculously or you know, whatever issues you're having. So I mean, I think it's worth a try. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? It's celery juice. Even though this whole celery juice craze started from a very suspect person, I think it's worth a try. And if you do suffer from acne, I think it's a great way to really purge out the stuff that's going Going on under your skin and get all those toxins out because I'm someone who doesn't even break out that much and I was getting all of these pimples which was crazy to me so if you're someone who gets acne frequently I would give this a go and just see how your skin reacts you might end up finding out that at the end of the challenge seven day challenge 14 day challenge however long you do it that your skin is a lot clearer I had really good digestion I had less cravings for sweets and junky food. It just, it was a nice way to start my day and it was cool to like incorporate something like that into my morning routine and now it just feels normal. So I would definitely recommend trying it out if you're interested. I'm not a doctor, I'm not the medical medium, so I don't know what's gonna happen to you. If you feel horrible on it and you just wanna quit right away, then don't do it. So that's pretty much the end of the video. Before you go, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Stop this video right now, go to my Instagram, I'll leave it right here, and follow me because your girl is trying to get to 10K so I can get that swipe up, beat ya, ay, 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 ay. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe down below if you haven't already, turn on your post notifications, and don't forget to take care of yourself, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Ew.